If you have a Bible, 1 Peter chapter 5. This world is currently in the midst of a crisis. COVID-19 and the response to the virus has turned our world upside down. In many ways, our way of life has changed. New terms have entered our vocabulary. Words such as, or terms such as social distancing. Things that we thought were unimaginable have happened. Schools have shut down. People are encouraged to stay home. Many people have temporarily been laid off from their jobs. Some have lost their jobs not to get it back. Some businesses have closed, some temporarily, others permanently. And for weeks, we have not had a conventional church service. In fact, we did not even meet on Easter to worship the risen Lord. And toilet paper has become a prized commodity. We live in strange times. And as I look ahead, and as we look ahead, the future seems uncertain. Will church look different? What will school look like in the fall? Will food prices continue to go up? Will unemployment continue to be high or continue to go up? So as we stand here on May 27th and look into the future, it is unclear. When I look to the future, I have nothing but question marks. Maybe that's where you are. As you look into the future, you see and have question marks. For you, the future is also unclear. If that's you, I know a condition that you may be struggling with. You may not have given in to this condition, but it is definitely knocked at your door. This condition is anxiety, worry. In times such as the times that we live in, anxiety and worry are negative inner pulls that seek to draw us towards being downcast in despair in pain if that's you you've been struggling with anxiety you have struggled with worry I have a word from the Lord I want to share what God's Word says concerning anxiety in these troubling times and it's just one verse and it's in 1 Peter chapter 5. Before we go there, let's pray. Father God, we come before you tonight thankful to open your word. In this uncertain times that we are in, we are certain that you hold the future. We cannot tell what will happen tomorrow, but you have seen the end from the beginning. God, we trust you. We rest in you. We look to you. Speak to us tonight through the power of the Holy Spirit, through your word. Unto you be our glory, honor, and praise. In the name of Christ Jesus we pray, amen. So we are in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7 says, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. First word mentioned here is a fisherman's term, casting or to cast. Now, fishing was different in that time. Uh, they did not use a rod or reel as we do. However, they did cast. They threw their nets upon the water. The Greek word for cast here means to throw something onto something. That's what Peter instructs believers to do, to cast, to throw something. To throw what? Verse 7, casting all your 
cares upon him. We are to cast our cares. What does that word mean? In the Greek, it means anxiety or concern that brings trouble to heart and mind. The NIV says to cast your anxieties upon the Lord. What is anxiety? It is troubles that can fester in our life to the point of worry, robbing us of joy, bringing inner pain over our circumstance or our possible circumstance. Peter says to throw our cares, our anxieties upon the Lord. Why? It says there in verse 7, casting all your cares upon him for he cares for you. Believer, know this. God loves you. He cares about the things you care about. And He desires for us not to hold on to anxiety and worry, but to throw our anxieties upon Him. As we face this time of worry and anxiety, I just want to share a few truths from God's Word that can help us in the times that we live in. Point one, God cares about our cares and worries. I love my children. And what hurts them, what they care about, me as a dad, I care about. Let's take Luke. My son has been looking forward to driving since the age of two. He's got his driver's permit. He's got in his hours to uh, be ready to take his driver's exam to get his license and he is 16 however he has yet to get his driver's license why COVID-19 currently the DMV is not ready so he has to wait until the DMV is open again I'll go ahead and tell you my son is bummed about this a dream that he has had since a young child. He has to wait to achieve and to acquire. Now, I don't know if he's worried or if he has anxiety about this, but I do know he's disappointed. I do know he's bummed. So if my son is grieved, me as his father, I also am grieved because I love my son. Christian, know this. Your God loves you. Your Savior loves you. And what grieves you, worries you, makes you panicked, anxious, troubled, know this, the things that hurt you, the things that trouble you, He knows and He cares. Whatever pain you may have, your God loves you and cares for you in your pain. Which leads us to point two. Our God is able to carry our anxieties, our cares. When I was about 12 years old, I got for my birthday gift a weight set. You know the concrete kind, the old blocky kind? I had those and I had a... This weight set, and I, I put all my weights on the bar. And this is on the day I got it, and I tried to lift it up. I couldn't pick it up off the floor. I could barely roll it. I just didn't have the strength. But I remember knowing I wasn't able to lift that at that point because I was 12 years old. My dad came and lifted it off the ground and over his head. Now, he did a lot of grunting. It wasn't easy. But my father could lift what I could not lift. Christian, there will be troubles, sufferings, trials, and discouragements that will lay ahead of you. And troubles and pains, they weigh on us. Troubles can lead to worry and anxiety that bring pain to your soul and it will weigh you down. 
There will be trials and troubles that you cannot carry. But your God can. There are going to be troubles that are bigger than you, but not bigger than your God. He can carry what you cannot. Which leads us to point three. We must cast our troubles upon Him and let it go. When you cast, you throw it and you let it go. We must take our anxieties and worries, throw it upon Him, and trust Him by letting go. In the Old West, there was a prospector who was walking towards town a long distance off, and he had a huge backpack on. His backpack had all his prospecting equipment, and it was heavy. As he walked down the road, you could see him in pain. It hurt his back. It hurt his legs. It struggled with each step as he carried this backpack. As he's walking in pain, a man on a wagon comes up and says, I'm going towards town. Hop on, take your load off, and I'll carry you there. The prospector says, much obliged. The prospector gets on the wagon, but he doesn't take the backpack off. He keeps it on while he sits in the wagon. And it's still hurting him. The man uh, driving the wagon could look and see the pain on the prospector, and he says to the prospector, Take the backpack off. This wagon wagon is taking the load. You can take it off. Be in peace. Let go of the pain. But the prospector says, I can't do that. You've helped me so much by carrying me to town. The least I can do is carry the backpack and keep it on. The man still experienced pain on the wagon all because... He chose to hold on to his backpack, not letting it go. Now, we would all say that's foolishness. Why carry a heavy burden when you don't have to? We do the same too often, Christian. We do the same. We carry things that only God could carry. Believer, God loves you. He cares for you. He's able to carry your heavy load and your worries and your anxieties. But many times, we hold on to our anxieties and we don't let them go. We pray, Lord, help us. But instead of casting it on God, we continue to hold on. I want to read again what God said. Verse 7, casting all your cares upon Him, for He cares for you. Believer. Do not hold on to your anxieties. Cast them on Jesus. He cares for you. Don't hold on to your worries. Throw them upon the Lord. He is able. He loves you. Let's pray. Father God, we end this time tonight thankful for your word. As we're in this troubling time, we can trust you. We may not know what the future holds, but we know you hold the future. God, we're going to cast our burdens upon you. We're not going to hold on. We're going to throw it upon you because you are able and you love us. We trust you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Take care and God bless.